Hello everyone and welcome back to A Gardener's Notebook. I'm Douglas E. Welch. This is What Douglas Dug, show number two. What Douglas Dug is a review of some of the neat items I've found in my internet travels related to gardening. If you'd like to find out more about these shared items and see all the shared items, you can follow me in a variety of ways. They're all listed right here in the sidebar of the website. You can follow me on Twitter, on Facebook, on Google+, or on Pinterest. First thing I'd like to focus on today is our most recent free garden wallpapers. This is a hibiscus close-up that I took recently in my own garden. You may have seen that I have tried to release a new set of desktop wallpapers each month, including a special garden picture that you can use on your computer desktop, like this first one here, for your iPad or other computer tablet, or for your smartphone. I actually have these photos currently as the wallpaper on my own iPhone. You can download them directly from the website. If you're downloading the tablet or the iPhone, you can simply tap and hold on the item, save it to your own camera roll, and then apply it as a wallpaper using the settings on your smartphone or tablet. The desktop wallpaper, you can right click, save image as, save it to your own computer desktop, and enjoy my pictures for the entire month. Like episode number one, we're gonna use Pinterest as our main guideline today. You can follow me on Pinterest at pinterest.com slash Douglas Welch. Once there, you can follow all my pins or you can focus just on the garden board listed here in the first row. That's where we're gonna start today. One of the neatest items I've seen most recently, this came in in just the last couple of days, is this little trick for using aluminum duct tape as garden markers. This duct tape is used to seal the ducts in your house for um, heating and air conditioning. And one of the neat things about it is it's sticky, so you can attach it to pretty much any vertical support, like a chopstick, or in this case, I think it's a plastic knife. And then on the back, you can reverse emboss the letters that you're looking for. As with all Pinterest pins, you can simply click through on the Pinterest pin, and it will take you to the original website, giving you all the information you need to produce this project for yourself. Next on our agenda, it's this great little idea here of using clear storage tub or nearly clear storage tubs as sort of mini greenhouses for your seedlings. Uh, if you live in an area that has more uh, variable weather than I do here in California, this can be a seedling saver. You can simply throw the top on if frost is expected. You can use it to slowly um, prepare your seedlings for planting in the grounds by taking the lid off during the day and putting it back on at night. I'm always looking for great useful ideas like this that help your average gardener basically be more productive, especially if you're trying to grow food or perhaps delicate flowers in your garden. I came across this next idea uh, as part of one of the design gardens at the Southern California Spring Garden Show 2012. They had six design gardens and I found this set up very interesting. Basically, they had taken a large tree trunk that had fallen and sliced it into fairly thin slices and then used those slices of trunks as pavers in the garden. Now, of course, these aren't going to last as long as stone pavers or tile pavers, but I think it gives a great rustic look to the garden. You then simply surround the edges with wood chip, much like I've done in my own garden recently. And you can find out more about that on the blog. And I just love the way it blends in. It looks very, very natural and very, very peaceful. I'm not a big user of hardscape in my garden. I do prefer softer ideas like this. And I think this is a great way if you have the ability, perhaps if you have a sawmill near you, or if you have a friend with a chainsaw who can help you slice up a trunk, this could be a great use of that tree trunk. On the more decorative side of the garden, I found this to be a great reuse of old faucet handles. Paint them up a little bit, uh, screw them to a rustic board, and all of a sudden you have a lovely holder for uh, your garden aprons, your garden tools, whatever you would need to hang up in the garden. 
Again, just a great idea for reuse and recycling. Why throw these things away? Uh, why recycle them at all if you can put them to use right in your own garden? If you have great decorating ideas like this, please pass them along. I'd love to share them with others. Here's an example of how even in the smallest garden, even in a garden that you don't perhaps own, such as at a rental property, on the balcony of your apartment, whatever, here's a great idea for making a lovely garden using containers. I think a lot of people tend to think that you have to have a large garden, you have to have a natural garden where you're planting in the ground of the garden to really have a true garden. But as this shows, you can have some beautiful results nearly anywhere that you live. All it takes is a little creativity, some interesting containers, and a little bit of time. Gardeners are always finding creative ways of using PVC piping in the garden, and my fellow Saturday Six blogger, Kylie Baumley, actually posted this interesting planter on her blog, rlittleacre.com. Uh, basically, it's quite a complicated build. I don't think it's difficult to do, but it simply has a, a lot of parts. Basically, you use a length of PVC piping and a three-way connection. This would be sewer piping that you would normally use in your home. Um, you set it up vertically, you assemble it together, you fill it with soil, and basically put your plants in. And you end up with this wonderful vertical element in your garden. Sometimes we can have a little trouble getting more vertical elements. Everything tends to be at ground level or just above. So this is a great way of making sort of dramatic statement in your garden. Uh, if you look back through the Pinterest account or the blog, you'll also see that I highlighted a vertical strawberry planter that uses much the same idea, except instead of putting the fitting on top here for the three uh, planters, it has holes along the length of the PVC pipe, which allow you to plant it up much like you would a strawberry pot. If you're looking for something dramatic in your garden, this is certainly something to try. Reusing pallets in your garden is another very popular idea right now. I've seen them used for vertical gardening, all sorts of uh, furniture and decking and garden paths. And here is yet another one. This is a pallet planter box. You basically use the wood from the pallet to quickly assemble a nice little wooden planter box. You can see it fits a pot right inside, so you don't have to worry about the planter itself rotting. Uh, I think it's a great little reuse idea again. Um, I've always find it so, so interesting, the creative ways that gardeners can find to reuse elements that might otherwise simply be thrown out. And finally, for this episode, you may have seen uh, that I have been producing some other gardening videos, including a walk through my garden, a review of what's going on here, and also a short little video detailing the beautiful garden of a client of mine, a computer consulting client of mine, who uses this as her home office and waiting room for her business. A wonderful garden I would love to have in my own backyard. Uh, if I could work at home in this garden, I don't think I would go anywhere else. You can find out more about these videos by visiting my YouTube channel, where you'll find all of the videos I do, including videos for careers, new media, and of course, gardening. If you scroll down, you'll even find a Gardener's Notebook playlist, which highlights all the gardening content on the channel. If you enjoyed this show, I hope you give us a like on YouTube or subscribe to our channel. Please send me your favorite shared items, your neatest things that you find in your own internet travels, and I'll highlight them here on What Douglas Doug. Thanks again for watching. You can visit us at the website douglasewelch.com. Until next time, keep digging.